and by Bud Light. And let's take a look at the uh, halftime statistical breakdown. Ten point margin and the overwhelming edge is offensive rebounding. Third from the bottom, 16 to 7, and that has helped propel Cincinnati to this edge. If you're UCLA, Billy, how do you overcome this deficit? Well, if I'm one of the inside people, I go after the guards and I say, hey, Vern, get your guy and keep him out there. <laughs> and don't let him come in here because they're stepping up and therefore they can't check out. That would be one. The other is on back cuts, you know, let them catch the ball. Mm -hmm. Don't let them back up because now the defense reacts as well. And the other end, I think they got to take better shots on the offensive end if they're going to get back in this game. Move it around, screen, get it low I'm sure Steve's addressed all these things and with Capona with those two fouls now he's back he's got to keep moving maybe you'll get some open looks seven minutes restricted in the first half here's Bozeman and Barnes Barnes only had eight minutes in the first half of play Billy Knight got Zurich fights for position and there's a skip pass to Barnes Jumper, got it, good job. And reverse the ball, use the floor. By the way, you see Donald Little just discard three or four people. That's, you've got to meet that now. Got George, got to nail him at the other end in a legal way, not a malicious way. Be tough, be strong. Uh, you've spoken about a, a, an edge that Cincinnati has to the to their demeanor. Their persona is such that they're going to be chippy. I mean, they're going to, if the situation dictates, they're not afraid to lay the, the hammer on you. So you've got to counter that with your own type of physical play. That shot not there. Rebound, Billy Knight. And here's Bozeman. Nice discard by Capone. Capono, second shot, catch and release. And they, that's what they want, though. Yeah, like a fly fisherman. And here is Logan at the other end, restricted to only two points in the first half. Stokes at 18, and he might make wow. it 20. He How does. That, huh? Up and over, Dan got short with a little smooch. And at the other end, UCLA. A 10-point margin. The top seed against the eighth seed. The winner goes to San Jose and takes on the Tigers of Missouri. Barnes looks inside, and a foul is going to be called on Jamal Davis. Let's check in with Leslie Visser. Vern, Steve Lavin said, no surprise, we've got to defend the glass. He said it's become a volleyball game for them out there. He said, we want to play, we have a dilemma. We want to play man-to-man, -man, but because of our foul trouble, it's, it's a dilemma. Offensively, he said, we've got to be more patient, Vern. All right, Les, if it's a volleyball game, you'd think UCLA would have a it's, big edge. Yeah, they're pretty good nationally. I think another open look, and if he gets going, Jason Capono knocking it down. Jason Capono hammers one home from three-point range. He hits 46% from all Long distance for the Bruins. There's Logan, Look at guarded the by Bozeman, and he's one for seven now. So the shots are not falling for Steve Logan. Did, did you see the left arm uh -huh. huffing and protecting? And that's the experience on the baseline. Oh. Offensive foul. Oh my goodness! And, and Knight on a bounce pass had Gazurik, and Gazurik's upset. He's looking over because all he going to do is put it on the floor. The defense had been attracted. Give it up! And that's three fouls on Billy Knight. And it comes just over two minutes into the second half. Okay, Bozeman doing a real good job with the size on Logan, too. You can cushion a little bit. And he's tall, little. Yeah, he's Fresh chatting tall. with him, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. And there's the blow by. Uh, <laughs> I think you want to put a zipper on it. Yeah. Cedric. I think Cedric Bozeman <laughs> might be a little more reticent uh, next it, time down. Uh, and Steve, they're just talking to one another. Mike Kitch just said, that's it to both of you. Button your left. I've heard that a lot in class. <laughs> Here's Gad Zurich. Big first half. Doesn't fall for him on this shot. Here comes McElroy for Cincinnati. Capono's back. McElroy takes the jumper over him. Rebound. Offensive board. Little. Taken away by Barnes. Look yeah. at McElroy work. He does pick up the foul. He's right there. You're right on it, Vern. I mean, he was really trying to get over and take that sideline away. And more importantly, that's his third foul. He should have sprinted to the middle, turned to run a huggy bear. Uh, not real happy with that particular one. He knows that his best defender has to stay on the floor. Unfortunately, with the three, I think he's going to get the yank, the hook. Uh, Phil Williams getting ready to come back on the floor for the Bearcats. Here's Get Zurich. Capono, long range, in and out. So he can light it up quickly, though. And Logan, Bozeman. 
No conversation. Oh. How about the crossover? That, is, is that, that pretty? Enough? Enough? Yes. Is That's that just extraordinary, Vern? I'm sorry. Oh. The tall guy's at a disadvantage, though, on the dribble. He should back up a little, keep the hand up. He's got four or five inches, but this is one of those, I'll show it to you, and then I'm going to take it away. A little bing, and then go to the goal. And right here is when the damage occurs, generally, the big guys step up, and uh, the counter by the offensive man. Aliou sent it in. Nice touch by Barnes. A nice spin out, good footwork, and that's where Bozeman can make some plays and help them. He can see over things, he's got the size. Seven point game, 51-44. Leonard Stokes, number 13. Capono's got him. McElroy is on the bench. Fuel Williams, the ball in his hands, kicks it left side. Little jumper in the lane, he'll go to the free throw line. Number three. And Capono has picked up his third. And they ran a double for Williams and a good defensive set. And this is just the size. You can see nobody up on him. That is deep, just over half court. And Barnes wisely. A lot of guys will try and dunk when you don't have to. And then Matt acknowledges pretty good offensive play. Need more of them. Now Capono, for the moment at least, will stay on the floor. Walcott's getting ready to come in. And Rico Hines, by the way, the fifth-year senior, has made his way back to the bench. Came out on crutches. He has his left leg heavily wrapped. Really an inspirational leader for this UCLA team. Now, this is one of those deals is they have a little dialogue on the sideline that I don't think he can keep them too long. Even though he's got the three, they need some some life on the offensive end. He certainly is one of those guys. He's getting free now, which he did early in the game. You give him a four-minute job maybe and then let him go. Think so? Yeah, maybe the next time out. Uh, he leaves three minutes into the second half. Almost four in. Here's Barnes off the dribble. <laughs> And Gadzura can't control it. Logan, he's got Stokes to his left, kicks it out of bounds. I think it's Walcott maybe with the reach in. Right. Uh, he really does attack defenders. I'm not so sure that was the best of plays. 15.50 to go, time call. Back in Pittsburgh, well, we know the champions are born, but they're also made. When Billy Knight was eight years old, built a shooting obstacle course in their backyard in Los Angeles. He said that he tried to make the obstacles more difficult as Billy and his brother Eric got older. Billy Knight Sr. is here with his wife Peggy. Vern, do you think there was enough room for Billy's trademark three-pointer? <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit of a reach, but uh, what a novel idea for Peggy and Bill Knight. And here to watch their son Billy, who's back on the floor now, by the way, playing with three fouls. He wears number three, and he replaced it. Jason Capone. Not much room for the corner trademark night jumper, but the straight on shot, but they could use a lift from him. 11.30 to go. A six-point game. Logan guarded by Walcott. Billy Knight out on Stokes. There's that high-low. Look at this. Say goodnight. The great recovery. How about the block from T.J. Cummings? And here's Walcott at the other end, and he gets the basket over Jamal Davis. And that gets the press, something that Bob Huggins felt would help, particularly Steve Logan. Open him up a little. Stokes, there's Cummings again, and a foul this time. Didn't have to foul either. Uh, the ability to negate around the hole. Well, this gives you a little juice. They load up in the lane. Max Seal commits a little prematurely, but Cummings, the counter, and of course, Walcott, the ability and strength to go at the numbers and complete the sequence. Stokes with 22 points and nine rebounds already. And he shoots one more. McElroy is going to come back on for Field Williams now. Emmanuel McElroy. Twenty-four points for Stokes. Now, where do you get your points right now? Doesn't look like the inside game is going to be perimeter-oriented. A little single-double on the baseline. Turnouts. There's Billy Knight. Guarded by Stokes. Jumper in and out. Chased down by Logan for Cincinnati. But the defense can really button down when you don't have an inside game. In the lane, McElroy is fouled by Cummings. He picks up a quick two. 
A little bit of a reach down there. Ability to get in the lane for him. I mean, they decimated the interior defense of UCLA, turning the corner at will. McElroy back at the line. Senior from Fort Arthur, Texas, Lincoln High School there, down on the Gulf Coast. Lamar's there, right? Lamar University. Mm -hmm. With the conclusion of every NCAA tournament game, we'll select the Chevrolet most valuable player of the game from each team. Chevrolet will make a contribution to the school's general scholarship fund, a tradition for over 30 years. You see Steve just inserted that Zurich because of the inside. He can't just have all perimeter people. See if he can get some touches. Just keep them honest in the lane. And a missed opportunity for yet another offensive board. So for UCLA now, it's Barnes. Walcott has the ball in his hands. Billy Knight, per team in the corner. There's Gad Zurich with a screen. The jumper too strong. And the ball, Maxiel gets it. Another Texan for the Bearcats. And a foul is called on Matt Barnes. That's his third. And Vern, at the other end, it's tough to give a young guy a, a high double pick, either side of the choice. That play's not designed for him, Walcott, to take a deep jack. You gotta stay within it. Let the back cut occur, let the screens occur. You can always get that kind of a shot late, but that's, I think, the difficulty for Steve Lavin between Bozeman and Walcott. They're just not the kind of experience at that position to take over in clutch situations. It's been tough. I mean, he's been trying to fill the leaks here and there. You mentioned earlier the youth once in a while play together, and then the mix of the old and the young. And yet still 20 wins, huh? And UCLA already over the limit, 17 fouls. So Cincinnati in the bonus from now till the finish. And we've got 10-10 to go. Here's Walcott. And that's the same play, by the way. Now this, this was designed to do some other things. Billy Knight. Max Seal over Gadzurich's back. And here comes Logan again. So they got within four. It's back to a nine-point game. 63-54, under 10 to go. And the Bearcat fans are standing as one behind the Cincinnati bench. Good movement without the basketball. Give Stokes the look. This one's going to be on Max Seal. Now the defense has improved for UCLA, and now the offense is a difficulty as Capona comes back on the floor. A lot of perimeter action and nothing going at the tin. I think you've got to use the bounce to manufacture low post ups, and you can see the problems for Capona with the fouls. Plays with four, comes back on the floor with 9.35 to go in the game. And this is the one four that went to late in the year again. They used motion early, give an open look to Capona here. That could be over and back. Oh, and there's the steal by McElroy. Get down and cover the ball. Big play. And McElroy known for his tenacious play, particularly on the defensive end. Back to 11. A 7 nothing run for Cincinnati. The opponent trying to post and Stokes on him. A little easier defender, although decent as well. Barnes, long range. And this one's going to go. Maybe they get a break here. They get little underneath. They'll get the possession. And the basket should count. Not so indicated yet. And Bob Huggins, he can't believe. He wants to know if they're kidding me on that foul. Well, he likes his guys to get after him. Open look again. What a trip, huh? The basket did yep. not count. First one did not wow. count. Wow. I thought that was a simultaneous whistle. I sure Score did. Score the too. goal. That's not right. My gracious. Here's the jumper, Logan. No. Here comes UCLA. Short. Real short. The pull up. He did the right thing. Didn't give it to Bozeman because he didn't have the right angle. Bozeman, and it's cleared by McElroy. Kim hands by UCLA. Here's Gatzurik for the slam. The Condor, open it up. 
And a little smooch to above. Oh, does he have some hellacious jams, Vern? Aggressive. Well, maybe the house in their favor right now. This is as close as the Bruins have been, and Bozeman picks up the foul. Now, this is good hands on defense. Set it up, but send it in, huh? Oh, does he attack the rim, and all of a sudden, a little spark, a little life with the Bruins. But now the reach-in foul by Bozeman sends the All-American to the line where he is a career 86% free throw shooter. Utterly incredible. We get six and a half free throws a game because he settles for the jump shot quite a bit. Well, that three-point deficit as close as the Bruins have been since it was 12-9 in the early going. Now Logan gets one more. Great to have a guy in your pocket like Logan. When they come close, he's got that ability to draw attention, get to the free throw line, create havoc. Gets a couple and has a couple of words for Bozeman as we go to break. Five-point margin, Cincinnati 67-62, 7.48 to go. Just a quick word during that disputed basket. One official overruled the other. The basket did count, then the three. So we're uh, with the right score, 67-62. Yeah, it was interesting. I mean, great trip, but defensively, uh, the hands got the run out, got Kajur, got the crowd, they got the block going. They just got to cons be consistent. I mean, they can't just play a couple of trips well and then take them off. Not against this terrific Cincinnati team. Look at this front court scoring in this half. 19 zip at 8 2 UCLA run. Bozeman and Barnes, Dijon Thompson, Gadzurik, and Capono on the floor for UCLA. They got Zurich, they got to bring it down to him. Here he is with Little guarding him. Tough shot. Goes to his left, oh, or his right, rather. He lost his footing a little bit, wasn't sure what to do. Turned to the right shoulder, which is the toughest for a righty and still able to get the little Karen to go down. Back to three, 67-64. Under Steve Lavin, UCLA has yet to lose a second round game. This is usually Logan's time. Stokes on the floor. Capono's wow. gotta be careful, he's playing with four. Nice choice by Bob Huggins though. Leonard Stokes has just been the answer on the offensive end, and Logan's willing to just get him involved. 26 points for Stokes. Barnes, there's the help from Logan. Hey, Barnes inside could be a factor. He's a much better sh shooter in a sense than Gadzurik. Screen from Capono. Barnes backs off, looks for Gadzurik. Has him. And forcing him out too far. Now, Bozeman was near midcourt. Jumper in the lane is good. Great use of the size. Backing him down. They get a little collision. Got Zurich and Little uh, banging one another. Uh, but that's what Bozeman can do. I mean, he's got that ability. He doesn't have the confidence right now that he will next year on the stroke from deep. There was a 50-50 chance a foul was going to be called there. <laughs> Think about it. Vern Luckwist, uh, you got to post up in here, not out here. That's one thing. Now, look, they feel that Little can play Gadzurik, so nobody leaves. Here's a nice little move here. But late in the shot clock, look where he's half court. They feel that Bozeman can take advantage here late in the shot clock with the size. You can see Logan giving away three or four inches, but Gadzurik's got to be stronger, ducking in the three second lane, and on the catch, just come to the box. Not be at the box and pop out three feet. He could do more damage close to the 10. Did you notice that graphic and what was significant? Zero turnovers for Cedric Bozeman in this game. Walcott has yet to turn it over as well. Point guards for UCLA. Solid, and here's the little matchup zone again. There's Logan, Jamal Davis. A three-point game, 69-66, and that is the 16th Cincinnati turnover in this game. Capono off the rim, offensive board is good how about barnes anything you need he provides it's the switch by lavin to the zone that confused cincinnati and all of a sudden a little more energy a little more life and as we take a timeout, it is also time for the microsoft agile move of the game
We'll take you back to the first half and a wonderful moment for Cincinnati. They'd uh, like to have something similar to this occur next. Ooh. How about Jason Maxiel, a tower of strength, solid play, but UCLA getting something out of their defense. So important, the software for the Agile Business by Microsoft. And here's the counter. Just a great job. The push and just the activity of Barnes. I just love the way he plays. He can beach outside. He can post up. He can put it on the floor and get offensive rebound. Good read. A 14 to 4 Ru Bruin run. Here's Stokes. If it goes, he's got 28 points. And Huggins was worried about a second score. And Capone gets the quick look at his postman. Provides the dish. And we are tied with 5.04 to go. A quiet number all day. But Capono lights it up. And it goes straight up. Minimum. First tie since it was 5-5. And Bozeman's uh, got to back. Keep the hand up, but don't bite on the dribble. Guy's too clever. Logan. Space dribble. Oh. Got it. Oh, dagger! I mean, the guy knows money. Now Bozeman for UCLA. Steve Logan with 13 points in this half. He's got 15 for the game. Stokes, oh, short-armed it. But the follow is good, and he'll shoot a free throw. Well, you know first when you've shot it incorrectly, and Capona's had enough shots on the follow. But at the other end, when you got an All-American who knows how to put it on the floor, he's got the ability to blow by you, you give a little cushion, and watch this step back jack, the knockdown. But Capona on the other end, the little short arm, but quick enough to cover. He knew right away, because that's a big basket, a little bada-bing at the end for Jason Chasen. And Jason Capono, an 87% free throw shooter, has given UCLA its first lead since it was 7-6. And here's the full court pressure, and this is the concern, I think, uh, Logan can really bite you in the open floor. A one-point margin, Bruins up. And Max Steele in the game, high pick and roll, see if he gets to the block. Oh, my goodness. Long rebound, McElroy. Up and under, and Gatzer clears it for UCLA. I don't need it. Why not take it? Take it, but wow, what a gamble by the rookie. It's an energized UCLA Bruin bunch. 3.41 to go. Stokes. Good fight. Max Seal, and he shoots a free throw. I'll tell you, that's a big play. Little fought with got Jorick and wrestled the ball free. And those are the things that are going to help you win a game. And that's why Cincinnati, in tough situations, out muscles. In this case, out scrapes. And Max Seal, who had just come back in the ball game, some picks outside that time, gets himself where he can do some damage around the 10. Not a good free throw shooter, Bill. 58% for the year. But he gets all of the iron on this one. Three minutes, 35 seconds to go. Notched in the spirit of 76. UCLA Cincinnati tied at 76 with 3.35 to go. And time now for the CBS Sportsline stat of the game. Look at this. Front court scoring in this half. 29 to 3. Get complete tournament coverage at cbs.sportsline.com or on America Online, enter keyword CBS Sports Live. Check the second half numbers for Capono and Barnes for UCLA. Bro. And that's the big difference. All of a sudden, they're in the flow. A uh, concern for Cincinnati now in that UCLA in the open floor, getting some easier baskets. The defense has to be dominant for Cincinnati. That's their trademark. That's how they take you out of games. And one other little statistical note. Remember that offensive rebounding edge for the Bearcats in the first half. UCLA has five offensive boards to three in this half. Oh, oh Capono should have shot. Shoot. Absolutely. Logan. A pump, a jump, and over the top. Down the other way, I think Little. Uh, Jason Capono, they run the post up. You know, they've done some nice things out of a timeout. 
uh, you know, whether it's Barnes in the low post, uh, the alley oop, or that time component, got Jurek on occasion, but the consistency isn't there. They'll come down on occasion and then take the long jumper for Steve, and all of a sudden they're going the other way. That's the seventh team foul on Cincinnati, so Gadzuri goes to the line, shooting one of one. And he also not a proficient free throw shooter, 47% for the year. A little praying on the sideline and a. Just never looks comfortable. No. I think when he gets fouled, he gets a little rash. Knowing he's got to go down the other end. Three to go. Tie game. And the match now. Match up. Play a guy in your area. And this is where Logan can, and Stokes, the way he's playing, but Logan can get between defenders. They get it in Logan's hands. Stokes, good defense. Oof. Barnes very close to picking one yeah, up. I don't know. I mean, Huggins thought it was over in that corner. Long range bomb. McElroy quickly into Logan's hands. Here comes Cincinnati trying to gleek claim the lead. And they got Max Steele. Nice front by Barnes. Good footwork. Next trip, UCLA has to go to the rim or get it in the low post. Don't take the jumper. Screen down. Screen down. They want Max Steele on the box. There's Gad Zurich, and the help comes from Bozeman. Back it goes to McElroy. Ten on the shot clock in a tie game. Logan, a little floater, not there. Tip, here comes Bozeman, it's three on two. Left side, Patterson, Thompson rather, got it. What a pass and what an adjustment by Thompson. A lot of other guys would have charged, moved to the middle with the finish. Dijon Thompson, UCLA with the lead, 1.45 to go. This is Stokes. Now McElroy. Up and under. Oh. Yes! What strength to deliver. Impressive. Emmanuel. Tied at 78 with 119 to go. And Cincinnati has to buckle down now. Force them to be using a lot of clock. At the end of the sequence, you may not come up with something good. Bozeman. Ten on the shot clock. Barnes, the dish gets her. Oh. How about Barnes again? Huh? Nice slip to the goal. Draws the D. A little suckage. And then got Zurich with the knockdown. Dan gets Zurich 24 points. Time called. Rico Hines on the bench. Less than a minute to go, a two-point UCLA lead, 80-78. Both teams with two timeouts remaining. Let's take a look here. And Vern, look at the drop step to the middle, and now the strength to take that hit and still convert. But at the other end, the high pick and roll, Barnes slips, gets the delivery, draws people. The little kiss by Big Dan, the man. Now Steve Logan, guarded by the freshman Cedric Bozeman. McElroy, Max Seals posting up, Barnes fronting him. Now here's the overload. Here's Stokes. Fall away. Tough shot. What a knockdown. Good Zurich Lumen in the back as well. 30 points for Leonard Stokes. Now and the shot clock is off. And it looks like they're going to set the play up, get the last shot. Steve's got them with this. The high five now. Screen and roll or screen and pop for Capona the way they have it set. Watch Kazura on a follow up. That's Zurich. Little is watching him. Ten to go. Here's Bozeman. The screen from Capono. Jump rejected by Little. What a presence. Donald was big in the lane. Now they're going to take it from underneath. Let's see if they, they don't use the timeout. Good outside shoot. Now they're going to use the timeout. Time called Cincinnati. First time these two basketball giants have met in 36 years, and they've made it memorable for all of us. 80-80 with 3.8 to go. UCLA with two timeouts left. Billy Knight has come back on the floor for the Bruins. He's joined by Gadzurik, Capono. The ball will be inbounded by Bozeman, and Matt Barnes is also there. Knight in the corner. Watch the lob. There's Barnes. 
One jump, short, short. We're going to overtime. At the end of 40, we've got five to go.